What's up guys, how you doing? This is Philip Stard here and in today's tutorial on Lombok what we're going to be doing is showing you how you can change this so all these setters into a nice fluent builder pattern with a couple of annotations. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of that data annotation and what we're going to do is bring in the builder annotation and also for, for reasons I'm going to bring in the two string as well. So go ahead and bring in that because I'm going to be printing the object here and then we can see these setters they're all gone. So what do, we, what do we do? Well, how we construct the object now is we say person. And we say, yep, we want a person. And now we say builder. Get me the builder of the object. And then in here we can set everything. So we can set the age to 50. We can go ahead and set their first name to Philip. Phil. And so on and so forth. And I can click dot build. Now that'll build me a person object and in the person object of course you can see that all we have is our two string we don't have the getters and setters because what the builder has done is generated a builder that will create a class and will have one field for each of all other fields and then go ahead and construct the person for us so how cool is that now we don't need to write any of them big builder boilerplate codes just one annotation and it does it for us so let's go ahead and run that so run a save so there's a little bit more to this annotation. If you want to know what it does in detail, I'll link the, the link below and you can go ahead and, and actually have a wee, um, a better look through and see, okay, you're happy with it or maybe you'd rather use something else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nice introductory to the kind of builder that um, Lombok gives you and I'll see you in the next episode.